Prince Harry's Netflix documentary is seen as fluff and nonsense, Neil Sean. UK royal reporter Neil Sean dives into Prince Harry's allegations against Prince William, the royal family and staff in the Netflix documentary on the story. Elizabeth Hurley dismissed speculation that she took Prince Harry's virginity when he was a teenager. The 57-year-old British actress has denied that she was the beautiful older woman in the countryside that the 38-year-old Duke of Sussex reportedly wrote about losing his virginity to in his upcoming memoir Spare. After rumours began to swirl that the Austin Powers, international man of mystery star was the unidentified woman, Hurley was asked about the speculation in an interview with The Times published on Friday. Not me. Not guilty. Ha. Huh. She said. Elizabeth Hurley denied rumours that she took Prince Harry's virginity when he was a teenager. Elizabeth Hurley denied rumours that she took Prince Harry's virginity when he was a teenager. Getty. When further pressed on the matter, Hurley doubled down, saying, No. Not me. Absolutely not. Prince William, Kate conduct business as usual as Prince Harry, Meghan Markle continue with bombshell claims. The Royals Alum previously owned a 410-acre farm in the Cotswolds, South England, which she purchased in 2002. She sold the estate, which is located just outside Barnsley, Gloucestershire, for £9 million in 2015. In 2002, Hurley began dating Indian businessman Aaron Nayer and the two tied the knot in 2007. The former couple separated in 2010 and finalised their divorce in 2011. Prior to her marriage, the bedazzled actress was in a 13-year relationship with Hugh Grant, which ended in 2000. Grant, 62, is the godfather of Hurley's son Damien, 20, whom she shared with the late American businessman Steve Bing. Harry is married to former American actress Meghan Markle, 41, with whom he shares son Archie, 3, and daughter Lilibet, 1. Placeholder Hurley dismissed speculation that she was the beautiful older woman in the countryside that the 38-year-old Duke of Sussex reportedly wrote about losing his virginity to in his upcoming memoir Spare. Hurley dismissed speculation that she was the beautiful older woman in the countryside that the 38-year-old Duke of Sussex reportedly wrote about losing his virginity to in his upcoming memoir Spare. Photo by Franziska Krug slash Getty Images for Ferrero Deutschland In a 2019 interview with Us Weekly, Hurley revealed that she had met the Suits alum in the past before Meghan met her future husband. I met her once when we were both just actresses, she told the outlet. I think before she probably met her future husband. She was fantastic. Though Hurley said that she hadn't stayed in touch with Meghan, she praised the mother of two for her work as a royal. For me, she's doing a great job and looks wonderful. So I wish her nothing but luck, she said. To be honest, I haven't met her since. I don't really know her very well. She knows that she's doing a great job in Africa. In January 2020, Harry and Meghan announced that they were stepping away from their roles as working royals and moving to the United States. The two founded their charitable organization Archule in 2020. Harry and Meghan's publisher is reportedly worried the couple's Netflix Doka series will impact sales of Spare. Harry and Meghan's publisher is reportedly worried the couple's Netflix Doka series will impact sales of Spare. Mike Coppola the couple dropped the second volume of their Netflix doka series Harry and Meghan on Thursday. The doka series reportedly has the couple's book publisher concerned about prospective sales of Harry's upcoming memoir. According to royal watcher Neil Sean, a source at Penguin Random House, the publisher of Spare, claims the company is incredibly worried that sales will plummet due to the couple's Netflix series. The royal expert noted that both Harry and Meghan have shared a lot of information already regarding the royal family and the reasoning for their departure in 2020, which could affect the book's sales. On October 27, Penguin Random House announced the Duke of Sussex's book will be released January 10.